on this Friday's episode of Fun Friday, or is it Funko? Well, I'm not really talking about Funkos today. I'm talking about, yeah, let's go with Fun Friday for now until I decide what I want to call the Friday videos. But yes, I want to answer this question of what camera am I shooting with now? Let's get started. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay, this is different. Shooting video with the iPhone. Okay, like that? Yeah, let's go with that. But yes, today is Friday. Love Fridays. Well, I mean, I usually work the weekend, so it really doesn't matter if I have a fun Friday. I don't know what I'm talking saying, but in today's video, let's see what kind of cameras I am shooting shooting with these days. I'm shooting this video with a uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's a little interesting. I'm not really used to uh, shooting videos with a cell phone, but on this channel, we shoot videos with a bunch of cameras. And yeah, I guess a iPhone is a definitely a cool tool to use. Let's go see what I have. I realize this is not normal. Yeah. So, what what cameras are these? That's it's a lot. I, mm. Let's go oldest to newest. M100. This is the last of the Canon M series that I have left. Oh yeah, this is a 11 to 22. Then this is a Canon G7X Mark II. Love this camera. So many uh, adventures with this. Then we have the newer version. This is the Canon G7X Mark III, the one with the mic port right here. And 4K, which, which, which the 4K is, uh, mm, well, it overheats. And not the best thing to use. This thing is very interesting. Um, a lot of people love this camera. It's a Sony. I thought Sony. I mean, you know, I'm so used to Sony these days, but this is a Canon Rebel SL3. People love this camera. Very cheap, very efficient, and gets the job done. It's a dying breed of DSLR cameras. This is um, gonna be a relic one day. Well, this technology of uh, single reflex cameras well hmm. moving on to the channel favorite the canon m50 this this is solid love this camera the canon m50 definitely started off this channel and well made me meet a lot of you guys and girls but yeah, Canon M50 Mark II. I don't have a Canon M50 Mark One anymore. That's, uh, my brother bought that one. But this, uh, Canon M50 Mark II, videos are still coming out. Now that leaves me with this Sony, this Sony, and this Sony. This one is just a beast of a camera. It is the Sony A7S III. The A7S III is like a cinema version of like the video taking cameras for Sony. It's, it's, it's solid. Very amazing camera, but very expensive. Now we're gonna move on to the, my most used camera uh, here soon. This is the Sony a7 IV. This just came out. They literally look all the same, but this uh, Sony a7 IV is uh, solid. This is cheap enough to run and gun and take around everywhere. Oh yeah, this is uh, definitely gonna be my most used camera besides this next one, which is probably my most favorite camera right now. And here it is. This is a Sony ZV-E10. The Sony ZV-E10. This is a solid lo little camera right here. Look at that. Let me do a little spin around. All these cameras are being reviewed and played with on this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe and check out my videos. I'm working on the cam these cameras one by one. I'm a one man team. But yes, the Sony ZV-E10 is definitely the Canon M50 killer. Boy! 
Speaking of which, I'm gonna finish this video on the ZV E10. Look at this 4K quality. Oh yeah. But yes, um, well, the short answer is the Sony ZV E10 is it's definitely my most favorite camera and it's gonna be my most used camera for the run and gun vlogs kind of things because it's small, it's like the Canon M50 and the best thing is it's 2022 while I don't don't really push 4K, you know, making and all that because it's, 4K is a whole different kind of problems dealing with uh, computers and yeah, but yes, uh, the Sony ZV-E10 is solid for 4K and that's the reason why I moved to Sony anyway, it's because of the 4K. While in 2022, we still, you know, most people don't watch 4K on YouTube or even online, but it's, it's nice to edit with if you have the means to edit 4K content. But most people still watch 720p and 1080, so I totally understand it. And if, you know, you don't need to shoot 4K, don't shoot 4K. It's just, uh, well, for me, it's more of a, well, it's, it's there and I can, so I am. But yes, that is, well, my short video for some of the cameras that I'm shooting with in 2022, this is end of, this is January 31st that I'm shooting this video. You probably see this in maybe next Friday, Friday afterwards, I don't know when you're watching this. But yes, say hi in the comments. Tell me what you wanna see next. Am I crazy to be um, toting around with all these cameras? What cameras uh, would you have if money wasn't an issue? Yeah, let me know. Or let me know what cameras um, you like of this little collection. Which one you want to see more of? Which one uh, you have? Anyway, love y'all. And until next time. Oh, yeah.